saw, there's no adequate guards. You know, a factory running a machine like that would have the Board of Trade down on it like a ton of... First, I have a request. As you see, I have three visitors with me uh, who would be interested to see how our council works, uh, if you agree, of course. I don't believe we would have any objection, Harry. Anyone here want to raise an objection? Very well, then. The visitors are welcome. Frank, Carol, Matthew, make room for our guests. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Right, Harry. The charge is that last Wednesday you borrowed Vanessa's bicycle without permission, rolled it over to the chemistry lab and left it there. When Vanessa had to go into town, she couldn't find it and had to walk. She has brought the complaint. That's right, isn't it, Vanessa? Yes, I didn't mind Harry borrowing it, but, well, you should have asked me, or at least told me afterwards and returned it. You've heard the charge, Harry. Do you deny it? I should tell you there are witnesses. No, I don't deny it. I certainly borrowed Vanessa's bicycle. Uh, there were, I think, mitigating circumstances. My own is having a new front wheel fitted, which was necessary after Tom's little experiment in perpetual motion. And, uh, well, I was late and it was raining. I, I would have asked her if she'd been anywhere in sight, but she wasn't, and, uh, well, I, I didn't think she'd mind. Oh, I didn't, Harry. Really, I didn't. Yes, we accept that, Harry. But what about the worse offence of not returning the bike and making things difficult for Vanessa? Guilty as charged, I'm afraid. I've no defence at all. I just forgot. I've already apologised to Vanessa and I would like to do so again in front of you all. It was a very inconsiderate thing to do. I see. Well, there doesn't seem to be any argument about the facts of the case. Do any of the council have any questions? I think Harry should have borrowed a boy's bike. Why? Well, he should, shouldn't he? Harry's a man. Do you mean he might have damaged Vanessa's bike? Yeah. Sue has a point, Harry. Did you think about that? No, I, I must admit I didn't. It was thoughtless of me. I, I just took Vanessa's bike because it was the nearest my size. All right, Sue. Mm. Anyone else? Bob? I, I don't think it's necessarily wrong to borrow a bicycle. I mean, without asking. Well, sometimes you have to, and... Well, you think the person wouldn't mind, if you could ask him. Her or her? <laughs> No, what I mean is, couldn't we have some sort of board up in the bicycle shed? So if you had to borrow a bicycle, well, you could leave a note so that people would know. Great, or a blackboard. Then you could drive out the note when you brought it back. That seems like a good idea. We could fix up something like that, couldn't we, Harry? Certainly. I, I don't know why we haven't done it before. Right. Now all we have to consider is what to do about the most serious part of the charge. Lack of consideration for others. Harry has apologised. Do you accept that apology, Vanessa? After all, you were the injured party. Yes. I was a bit annoyed at the time, but, well, you know. In that case, Harry, there is nothing left but for you to pass sentence. Well, I think uh, perhaps if I... I don't quite understand. Uh, it doesn't seem to me to be very democratic that the headmaster should be called on to pass sentence even when he himself is the culprit. Only when he himself is the culprit. In our trials, the accused, if he is found guilty, has to sentence himself. Punishment is effective only if self-imposed, all right? Well, Harry? I think perhaps if I clean and oil Vanessa's bike for her, and if I undertake to walk everywhere in the grounds for the next fortnight, just to remind myself what a sweat it is without a bike. Very well. Is everyone agreed? I think a fortnight's too long. A week, then. Right, Harry, a week without a bike. Any other points? Court is dissolved. Hello, Billy. Morning, Mr Hadley. Well, each child has to bring something to the community as well as getting something out of it. It's give and take. I can't afford to accept anyone who's just a taker. A chequebook notwithstanding. Mrs Hepton, we have something here. Money can't buy. I told you we don't have no. any secret things. You should I'll know see. that. Excuse me, Harry. Yeah? She said Annie doesn't want to go out with me anymore. Well, what made you say that, Vanessa? It's the truth. Oh, she's a liar. Well, do you want me to ask Andy? Oh, no. Well, what do you want me to do? Well, make her stop telling lies. I'm not telling lies. Unless I ask him, I shan't know, shall I? And even if I do ask him, I might not tell you the truth either. Well, you wouldn't tell a lie, Harry. You couldn't. I could, Vanessa, and I would, rather than hurt someone. Wouldn't you? Oh, she was just making trouble. She's jealous. I'm not. I don't care who he goes out with. Then why did you interfere? I don't know. 
Well, I just wanted to get my own back on Jean. She was being bitchy. Oh, she can't even take a joke. And what about you? Why did you come to me instead of going to the school council? Well, she wouldn't have minded that. She minds what you say. It's, she... it's not true, and, and you're not to tell it. Extraordinary. What was all that about, I wonder? Two, I'm three, not being four, shut up, up, Harry. I'm not. One, two, but you know three, what Harry four, always says. No one does anything shut up. Shut up. Those against. Motion carried. I bet he'll be upset when he hears about this. Oh, I don't think he will. I mean, he always said we should make our own decisions, and oh, this is our own decision, isn't it? At least you ought to tell him first. Oh, just because you're leaving, you don't care. I do care. Why won't you listen? We took a vote. It's what we all think is right. It isn't. It'll mess everything up. No, it won't. I mean, everyone will know we back Harry up, and... Well, they'll leave him alone, won't they? Oh, that's right. Now, come on. But we've got to talk to Harry. Don't take any notice of him. So, you can see what this is going to do to Harry, can't you? You voted against. But it's the majority. Yes, they've decided wrong. Harry wouldn't want us to do anything we thought was wrong. No, if the majority decides, we all have to do it, don't we? That's democracy. Oh, come on, sir. Wait a minute. I can't. I'm sorry. You're mad. Thank you.